Alex Polizzi. I cut my teeth in my family's international hotel empire and now run a multi-million pound food business with my husband. Last year, I fought to save six failing family firms. This family business has actually ruined our family. Now I'm back for a fresh fight. Attitude woman. Listen, I'm on your side. To pull six more families back from the brink. No, there's no communication. You're going to quit. Oh, yeah. In the midst of economic crisis, thousands of firms are going bust every month. Just in the last three months, you've lost about £3,000. I'm really struggling. Everything is at stake. Where is the money coming from? It's more than finance, it's family. Answer me a question. Are you not going to see any? Everybody keeps pointing out. You're the lazy one. You do nothing. I'm now dreading it, properly dreading it. This week, I take on an Essex salon that's suffering a serious slump. It looks a bit like you've set up a salon in your back room. I lost it. Like, not what I've lost it. Will squabbling siblings... What is going on? Go on, I thought it was ended. You won't see it, will you? You won't see it. Mum, I can't work with someone like that. And sloppy skills... You're not going to electrocute my wow. Get working! Okay, bloody hell. Spell the end of this backstreet boutique. Take all your excuses as read. Yeah and don't bother giving them to me. I'm on my way to Essex, to the Martini Salon in Braintree. I don't know whether it's justified or not, but my idea of Essex style is all permatanned, very high heels, very short skirts, and very long hair extensions, and lots of fake eyelashes. I don't know if that's really fair. I'm about to find out. <laughs> With a value of over 15 billion pounds, the beauty industry in the UK employs almost a million people. And while retail sales figures have fallen by as much as 20% in recent years, the beauty industry has remained buoyant showing small but consistent growth. However, Martini's is a backstreet salon in financial meltdown. Hello, Ma Hello Martini's. Oh, wow, how good's that? <laughs> Asti Martin opened here four years ago with her mother, Sandra. Hello. Asti oh, cuts hair. So do you want to leave this? Sandra offers the latest in non-surgical facelifts. You come and have your face done and you just feel and Asti's sister Dee Dee works part-time offering nail treatments. Totally pampered from head to toe. But the siblings' fiery relationship has been threatening to destabilise the business. The girls sometimes fall out a little bit. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't get upset we both if agree. I was both doing We both agree, thing. yeah, we both agree. We yeah. will bitch at each other, we will shout at each other. Yes? When Asti's stressed about work, She's quite moody and quite snappy. She's snappy. I think with Dee Dee, it's more about a wage. Asti wants more from me that I want to give. Squabbling siblings is just one of the problems facing this struggling salon. Their business model has failed to deliver a profit. And despite offering top-to-toe treatments, their bottom line is far from attractive. Every month, every day, your bank balance goes back down to nothing, really. It's just ticking by. You can't even give yourself any wages. What do you mean? You haven't had a holiday for three years? No. Devoted, and I? Asti invested her life savings to found this family firm, and the struggle to make ends meet has taken its toll. If we can't build up the business and make a go of it in this next six months, it's going to break my heart, but we're going to have to let it all go. It's basically what Asti lives for. I know it would completely do her in, and that worries me a hell of a lot. If the business folded, Asti would be left with nothing. I think if I didn't carry on, I'd lose my dream, really. I'd just feel a failure, I suppose, because it's my dreams, then it's finished, isn't it? I have just four months to set the Martin family straight. 
and tease out a solution to the lacklustre performance of their salon. Obviously, I'm the antithesis of an Essex girl. After all, I do like the natural look. But allegedly, women in this country spend over £2,000 a year on hair and beauty. If that's true, there's a lot of money in this industry, and it's a good business to be in if you're doing it right. However, there are a dozen salons just a few minutes' walk away, and over a hundred within a 20-mile radius. And what's worse, Martini's is hidden down a side alley. So, there we have the Martini's sign. It's hardly glamorous or very professional looking. Hello, Alex. All right? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. And you too. Hello. 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 The rest of the family. Hello, Dee Dee. Nice to meet you, Alex. Dee Dee. Hi, darling. Hello, Alex. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you too. OK, so the first thing I'd like to do, if it's all right with you, is have a little snoop about. Yeah. All right? This small and imperfectly formed salon is set over two floors, an open-plan treatment area and reception on the ground floor, and upstairs, a dingy two-seater hair salon and treatment room. I feel pretty, oh, so pretty. I feel that needs a bit of a hoover. Not very appealing so far. It just looks a bit of a mess. Having spent over £15,000 on equipment, the Martini girls have gambled heavily on the kit required for a range of pricey treatments. In their situation, it's not a wise business move, putting even more pressure on them to increase turnover. I'm not entirely sure that this is where I'd choose to have my extremely expensive facial treatment. I don't find the martini bottles amusing. I don't find all those little pictures amusing. This is a little bit nasty. This just looks pretty amateur, I think. So I suppose the first thing to do is find out from them why it's like this. <laughs> In a recession, with less money being spent, it is the best-run and best-presented firms that will get the business, not the shabby ones tucked out of sight. Come on, darling. <laughs> So everything you're going to say, you I know. know. <laughs> I know. She it knows. happens all the time, my love. But I just haven't been able to do it. Darling, come into the salon. All this, you can see what's happening. You know, it's all done. However often you wipe it, it's always going to build up. I wiped that on Saturday, up. I swear. Look at the cracks in the ceiling. I'm not making excuses. I'm not making excuses. Once I've been in here all day Saturday, I do, it's me. I end up doing the whole thing after at the end of the day and I probably don't do it. Why don't we have a shorthand together? Take all your excuses as read yeah. and don't bother giving them to me. Mm -hmm, yeah. OK? Mm -hmm. And we're just going to find solutions. They have to reinvent themselves and become a destination salon. It doesn't look very professional, no, no, does no, it? No. It looks a bit like you've set up a salon in your back room. But that will have to wait until I've addressed a few business basics. So who does what around here? Exactly. <laughs> um, As in... Um, do you have clearly defined role? I mean, is there one of you who's supposed to be looking after the business side of it? No, not really, apart from Asti. Do you have a handle on your finances? Do you know where you are? Do you know what makes money, what doesn't? Treatments-wise, or you well, know. overall, darling, mm. because every treatment has an associated cost, obviously. Mm. So, do you know what percentage profit you're making on every kind of treatment? No, no, no. 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 That, that, that is where, that is that's definitely a failing. That's a, that's that is a definitely a failing. They have got so many fundamentals wrong that I'm struggling to know where to start. They don't cost out their treatments. The whole place is pretty dingy, dirty. There, there doesn't seem to be any clear leadership. There doesn't seem to be any definition of roles. God, I could pretty much cherry-pick which one of those I deal with first. So, I think it's really important that they prove to me that they are at least good at what they do. Otherwise, I'm going to abandon all hope and get the hell out of here. <laughs> I need to know that the Martini girls have the skills to move the salon forward and meet the tough challenges ahead. 
so I've invited a team of mystery shoppers to put them to the test. Do come in. Hello. What I haven't told them is that they're industry experts in their fields. Hello, Hello. I'm Sandra. Oh, hi, Sandra. <laughs> nice to meet you. And what are you having done today? Their feedback will reveal exactly what I'm up against. I'm hoping that the skill level at Martini's is the one thing I won't have to worry about. It's quite cool. Yeah. You're perfectly safe in my hands. I've been doing this since 1994. What, this treatment? Yeah. You're not going to electrocute my wow. Tell me why you use yeah. that, that nipple stuff. Basically, I'm pushing down your cuticles. Yeah. I was only just because I asked, because I've heard that cutting cuticles is not a good thing. It makes if you thicker. have, yeah, you just got to be really careful where you cut the cuticles. Okay. Yeah. When it's so small in here, and you end up listening to other people's conversations, but if there's someone else in here, usually everyone starts chatting with each other. It's so nice. Do you not find that sometimes people don't like that? What I'm actually doing is I'm sending an electrical pulse into your brain. For new clients, I like to do one side of the face first, so that <laughs> they can actually see the comparison. It's brave, yeah. And is that the recommended way of doing it, do you think? Um, it certainly wasn't how I had my children. No, no, no. It's done. not really the recommended way of doing it. Do I need to come back regularly, or what, what do you recommend? Well, it's recommended that you come back every six weeks to get a, to get your to get a, um, a manicure. And the mistress and the wife were both in there, and we thought, oh, what are we going to do? It's time to take a deep breath and face up to their findings. Although I fear these experts may be even tougher than me. Dee Dee, we've not been entirely honest with you. Um, I'm actually in the beauty industry, have been in for over 30 years. Yeah. But my actual background is in education. Um, somebody coming into a salon doing a French would probably expect it to be a little bit better than perhaps you just pre presented okay. here. There's quite a few things that you did tell me that actually weren't correct okay. in the industry. And it was a little bit back to front on some of your routine. So I think in some ways, perhaps it would be a to advantage to you to go back and to the training again. It's tough to hear the criticism, but better than continuing as they are. Constructive criticism is good, I suppose. I feel a bit down now, I feel a bit shit. Didn't realise I was getting a client in, so I wasn't really prepared for it. Dee Dee has to leave to pick up her children. It's a shame, as I wanted the family to stand united to hear what all the experts have to say. This is not just people I've picked up off the street, obviously. This mm -hmm. is a jury of your peers who, between them, have a wealth of experience, awards, professional qualifications. Any suggestions for how to improve, please? There's a lot of areas that I could pick up in the salon, but certainly with the quality and the standard, that could improve. You could go further and just have a little bit more training. Sandra, and the little thing that did concern me is I asked you if you were running late and then you said, oh, it don't matter because I do the same for them. And, you know, yes. and I just thought, you need to keep it in the frame. I think everyone is a bit too chatty here. Um, would you agree or disagree? I would agree. Sometimes, Sometimes yeah. Some of the, some of the, the conversations time. were perhaps not quite appropriate. You have to keep it mm. professional. The discovery of inadequate skills and poor customer service is a huge disappointment. It's not a good start. God, that was a really, really painful day. I was hoping, once I'd turned up and seen the salon, the state of it, really, that at least the skills of the operators were going to be beyond doubt. So it's been a bit of a shock to find out that there needs to be so much more training and development. We've just got to see this as a big opportunity for more teenagers, and I've just got to help them make the most of themselves. Sourcing appropriate training may just have jumped to the top of my to-do list. But my priority is tackling the finances of the company. Yesterday's admission that no one keeps an eye on the accounts was more than a little worrying. Oh, Alex is looking at the accounts this morning. That was worrying me because I know I'm just going to get a massive telling off. Morning. Morning. Oh, you've got a little box. <laughs> I, I, bet, I don't think it's even all accounts. In I was going to say, what, what's in there? What happened there? I don't know. I think I've got a mental problem. Oh, God. I'm just put things out of my way. Oh, I'm going to put things out of my way.
Does this just completely freak you out every time you look at it? Or well, that... see, I, I don't look at it. Mum don't work in any other way. Um, what, what I do is everything goes in there, and then when it all gets too much for me, I take it home. It's no wonder this is all a bloody mess. No. I just want to be clear. We, you know, I can't really work like this. I mean, it would do, it's going to do my head in completely. Whose responsibility is the rent on this place? Well, we both pay. So that's me and my mum. Who is Dee Dee paid by? Me. But then because Dee Dee does the nails and mum buys the stuff. So, and who pays for the stuff that me. you buy? How do you get paid back for that stuff? Hopefully in the takings. I fear I may have just walked into a minefield. This is one of the most shambolic and confused business structures that I've ever come across. We can sort the boxes of receipts, but the problem of who's in charge could be tougher to tackle. It's all gone out of my hands, really. Before Dee Dee was here, it was more a part of my business, but I don't want to be responsible for having to tell my sister what's right and what's wrong, because we fight. This is a situation that can't work like this, can it? Do you want to empower Asti to be the boss here? Yes. Well, well we, then, yeah, well, we so we, you have got to work out how you're prepared to do that, darling. You two have got to talk turkey about what Dee Dee's position is. Of course, she's your sister. But you know what? A lot of arguments will stop if she's employed by you. It's just, is this place going to survive? You know, can we make this work? I've taken on a business with poor finance management, no clear leadership, and staff that are worryingly underskilled. If Asti ever had a vision of what the salon could be, she has clearly lost the passion and the drive that inspired it. In search of inspiration, I'm taking Asti back to her roots and the kind of vibrant salon environment where she learned her craft. We're heading to another family business, but this one's a multi-award winning firm, founded by Daniel Galvin 50 years ago. He has worked with some of the biggest names, including the Beatles, the Rolling Stones and Madonna. I'm hoping that Daniel's infectious and undying enthusiasm for his craft will give the girls the boost they'll need to better their business. There's so many things that I would have to say philosophies, like when a client comes in today, you know, I'd like her hair to be better than last time, but hopefully not as good as next time. Yeah. We're, always, we're always striving for excellence. Yeah. The other thing is perfection is a journey, not a destination. We're always learning. Very interesting. He's clearly still immensely passionate about what he does. And it's interesting that that professional development can happen at any time in your life. Daniel's team have agreed to let the Martini girls loose in their esteemed establishment. So, are we going to divide and conquer with them? I think we are. Dee Dee's been offered nail training. Sandra's checking out reception. And I've asked Daniel's son, James, to put Asti through her paces. However you would approach this, whatever service you would deliver, Hi. I kind of want you to do that. OK. So, now you probably don't want to hear it. But, I mean, you've got a few splits all the way up, so that's going to be difficult. They're where they're losing their colour as well, aren't they? Because you do straighten your hair a lot. I don't. But no. so, I mean, I would really want to cut probably about this much off the front. Okay. I've noticed a couple of times now, Madam here He's has her, picked yeah. up the towel and she's yeah. wiping her own hair. That's going to go through to her clothes. My biggest fear is that James will feel Asti has slipped beyond the point of no return. Thank you, Daisy. Thanks so much. Right, so, come on, give us a debrief. You know, with some of your consultation, I just do think the whole approach sometimes with the client is so, it's just, especially in this day and age right now, and we're charging the prices we charge, and the economy is the way it is right now. It's almost like we've got to go out of our way that little bit extra mm. to make that client feel special, to make her feel nurtured and to feel comfortable. How was that haircut? Tell me. That haircut could have been cleaner. Because you're the only hairdresser really in your salon, you kind of don't really sort of see what other hairdressers are doing. You're yeah. kind of missing out on that. Yeah. Education is so important. So one of the things we've got to do is get some more training in. Yeah, I'd Absolutely. love more training. 
Was it lovely to hear Daniel today say, I'm always learning, I'll yeah. never stop yeah, learning? I, I mean, if he can bloody say that, yeah. I mean, yeah. there's no shame in it. I would do that every day of my life if I could, you know, and it's made me, my passion for hair. Being up here, was it? <laughs> seeing oh. everything, I lost it. I know what I've lost it. You haven't lost yeah. it, actually. Yeah. It's still there. You know what, darling? The person that it used to be is, is here in the salon watching everyone. And I've just been bogged down with the shit of everything. Every day I feel like my dream is moving further and further away. And I'm not prepared to give up yet. That emotion and passion is the glimmer of hope that I've been waiting for. It could be the one thing that pulls the business out of the doldrums. So you guys have got a lot to do. You guys need to talk about the structure of how Martinis works, the management structure. The salon has got to be cleaned from top to toe. You have to kind of admit that there's a big problem here. This is not something that's going to go away. It's not something that's going to get better without you committing to making a difference. Passion alone won't keep the salon afloat. The whole business needs to be revitalised. I have big plans for the interior, but until I send in the experts to look at the layout, a spruce up will have to do. Oh, that's lifted. Oh, it makes you realise how dirty that carpet was. We got some space. We got some space. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I've also asked Asti and her mum to polish up their act when it comes to the business basics. That's how much I charge. Because what I was working out is how much it costs to open the door in the morning. Well, I've written it all down. Oh, no, I just wanted an yeah, end-of-line cost. Just how much it costs you per month. No, don't get that. No, not really. Because that is all... Asti does get frustrated with me. At times, I find it quite upsetting. Um, it can get to me. And I suppose that's where working with family comes in. Because I'm her mum, she can actually take it out on me. Not that, because that's the nails. It's playing off my cases. This is yet more evidence that the only way this business can move forward is if Asti steps up and takes control. I've got this dream that's inside me that I want to fulfil. If I lost the business, I'd just feel so responsible. My mum wouldn't have a job. My sister wouldn't have a job. I, I can't let it go until, until, until I can see it happening. But to do that, Asti must tackle her sister's apparent lack of commitment. I know that Dee Dee just wants to work and do her a couple of days. I know you do, don't you? You just want to do your few days. I know you want to be a part of it, but at the end of the day, you've got other pressures and other things going on in your life. I can't have any more stresses in my life. It's hard enough looking after two mm. girls. I just want a job that I'm going to just just, what, just put to earn myself some pocket money. And I said that I needed someone that was a bit more into, you know, that could give me more time and more dedication. And then it was like, you know, it'll be all right, it'll be all right. This is your dream. But what come And we're working here and and that's it. You want, you want, this is your life. This ain't out, it's not my life. Yeah. Yes? Fine, that's it. That's, that, that's how you end things, that's, we've both agreed. All right, you coming on? You won't see it, will you? Just be quiet. I mean, what are you waiting for? Well, she just basically grilled me. Yeah, but that's just Dee Dee, isn't it? I know, but Mum, I can't work with someone like that. I love my nieces, but I do think that if Dee Dee didn't have children, and she was 100% with me in this. I do think we would work really, really well together. But when we don't see eye to eye, we like, we clash. We're, we're like magnets, really. We either, we either bond or we repel. If it started causing a big problem about my children and I, and I need to work more, but I've not gone home to look after the kids and all that, I'll just be like, I, I just won't do it anymore. I'll just, that'll be it then. I'll, that'll be my last week, then I'll just won't do it no more, find somebody else, because 
that's the way it makes me feel sometimes. No one blames Dee Dee for putting her children first, but she's not in a unique position. Almost half the UK's female workforce are working mums. It's hard, but where there's a will, there's a way. I just need to motivate her. It's been quite a few weeks since I was last at Martini's, which should have been plenty of time for Dee Dee, Asti and Sandra to get on with all the homework I left them. Thanks, darling. Mwah. This looks fantastic. I mean, honestly, looks a lot more professional. So good. Salon nice spotless, space. I have a bit of a bombshell to drop. To try and get Dee Dee to re-engage with the business, I've entered her into the nail industry's most hotly contested competition. I have entered you into the Nail Olympics. Well, after I've, I've done some training. training. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be scared. I'm not trying to make you look silly, but I just think it's always nice to have a goal to do something for. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Dee Dee will have to learn impressive new skills for the competition, which she'll be able to bring into the salon to boost her income and confidence. I just hope she can take the pressure. I can now turn my attention to the rest of the family. The Martini girls were criticised by my secret shoppers for taking too long over treatments. I get frustrated with it sometimes when I know there's somebody else waiting downstairs <laughs> and Asti's fluffing about with this woman that should have been gone like 20 minutes ago. Do you like a little bit of fringe down? Yeah. It might take me another 20 minutes, but I will take that extra 20 minutes. Is that good? Thank you very much. You are actually all very chatty, very great with your customers, and unfortunately that isn't brilliant for your bottom line. Once again, it is really, I think, all about efficiency, making the best use of your skills available and making sure every hour counts. Mm -hmm. This is so crucial to the salon's success that I need to ensure that the Martini girls acquire the skills they need to offer speedy, top-flight customer service. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a Please, can I introduce you to Asti, Didi and Sandra? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Fresh Atlantic. My name's Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Hello there. Hello, Lisa. I've decided to bring the ladies from Martinis here because to move their business forward, I think it's really important that they learn to offer truly efficient service and also how to engage with their customer appropriately. Both the skills which this company has in spades. Lovely. Great. Virgin Atlantic has given us unprecedented access to their state-of-the-art training centre. They spent millions building this world-class facility where they prepare their staff to face the public. So, now wow. they are suitably attired, I'm handing them over to you for training. OK, what we're going to do is a drink service. I'm going to have two of you on the cart, one at each end, and we've got some customers lined up in the cabin there, and you're going to serve them drink. We've been talking a lot about efficiency and how to offer customer service at the same time as being efficient. Is mm. there a kind of time... Yeah, normally they'd be about 20 minutes to serve every 300 customers, but today's activity, we've got 90 seconds to serve four customers. Okay, right. And away you go. Hello. 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 To add to the challenge, the stewardesses have been asked to try and distract the martini girls from their task. Yeah, I'll make a cocktail. Right, I'll have a nice yes, of, um, oh, orange or apple juice. We have, this is our... Um, this is my second flight to buy a lady off, actually. Where, where do you go? Oh, night time. Everything's complimentary. Um, I often stay in the hotel, actually. Um, we stay in various hotels, really, yes. Yeah. You know, I just poured out the wrong juice. That lady's taken Dee Dee's attention such a lot. She's, it's quite hard for her to actually take, take, concentrate on serving. And also, it's, it's where do you cut the kind of conversation to serve somebody else? Okay, that's 10 it. minutes. So 10 minutes. It took about eight minutes. About eight minutes. Dee Dee and Sandra may have utterly failed to stick to the schedule, but now it's time to up the ante for Asti, the martini girl who has consistently failed to deliver on time. 
OK, well, as we've got an extra two customers, I'm going to give you some extra time. So now you've got <laughs> two minutes to serve the cabin. Oh, two minutes. Off you go. The challenge is all about focusing on the task at hand, and Asti, until now, has shown that she is all too easily distracted. Um, oh, sorry. Um, I still have any scouts. Her focus may have improved, but now she's forgotten she's working in a team. Have you been to Barbados before? Oh, I have, yeah, I've been to Barbados. This is a lovely place. Is it your first time? Yeah. Where do you go on the night time? Where do you, you know go? what? I'm, I just love course. to relax. Exactly. Once I finish next? serving the other oh, people, I'll come back. Okay, okay enjoy your, your flight. And, and then off to Jamaica, probably. You okay, okay baby? Thank you. Oh. Okay, so do you want well to... Well done, timing-wise. <laughs> just slightly over eight minutes. Oh, my God. But you Sometimes. did have an extra two customers, so actually you did the same amount of time as you did earlier. We know that you're in a completely different business. Yeah. And, but it's just that I think some customer service skills are, are, are translatable mm -hmm. across every business that yeah. I ever see. Basically, you know that you're on this time schedule. Mm -hmm. And I think that's yeah, the point, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. That you have to be somehow respond appropriately, whatever the occasion. I didn't get my stairs. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was saying to her, I was trying to say discreetly, can you get me some stairs? Yeah, I know, but I was in the middle of the conversation. <laughs> Before we leave, I've lined up some more advice for the girls from the most famous entrepreneur in the country. Um, so, can I ask you, Richard, do you think that there are any universal truths about how to ensure a customer-facing service business succeeds? I mean, obviously, you know, you have to think, what, what is a business? A business is trying to make um, a real difference to other people's lives. And if you're going to uh, stand out proud, you just got to be uh, the best in town. So if you're an airline, you've got to be the best, you know, the, the best airline in town. Uh, if you're a beauty parlor, you must be the, the best beauty parlor. And, it, and it must, you must have given people a real, real reason to want to come and use your services. How important do you think excellent customer service is to the success of your business? Excellent customer service is, 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 is really almost all there is. I mean, it, it, but you need to give your staff uh, tools so that and, you know, they can do a great job. And we've enjoyed every minute of being here. It's been so useful. Thank you. Thank you very much. And it's an absolute pleasure to talk to you. Give us freedom, kids. Thank you very much for your time, Richard. That's Thank fantastic. You. Bye. 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 That was something, wasn't it? I'm totally starstruck. Mm -hmm. I'm just blown away that we've just spoken to Richard Branson. I'm starstruck. I have found today incredibly useful and rewarding. It just proves to the girls that whether you're a small independent business or a multinational company that's won lots of awards, you need to concentrate on the basics and the bigger picture will look after itself. The Martini girls may have scraped through their time challenges on a wing and a prayer, but they have at least proved they can be charming. Only time will tell if they can become more efficient. When I first arrived at Martini's, no one had overall control and Dee Dee wasn't answerable to anyone. Finally, in my absence, Asti is following my suggestion and trying to take the lead, putting herself in charge of the salon and her sister Dee Dee. She also wants Mum Sandra to step back and only have responsibility for her own treatments, but it isn't going down well. What we were talking about is then you just reducing your rent so that you just pay for your room, isn't it? I don't want to be made to feel like I'm just a part-time worker that comes in and does the casing machine. That's great, but if you don't want responsibility, I'm not going to make you feel like that, but then you have to be careful sometimes. You do have to step back sometimes then, don't you? If I'm doing something or I'm saying something to somebody, then and, and this is what I'm trying to put across, then you can't undermine that, can you? No, and I won't. Yeah. End of it. No more. Sandra may be struggling to release her grip, but I think the reshuffle is crucial to the business, especially as I'm about to introduce new business strategies. So what I'd like us to do now is to do a kind of running survey. OK. Yeah? Now more than ever, people are looking for value for money. I have a plan to offer that without giving away the profits. I want the Martini girls to start offering packaged treatments. The bigger the package, the better the discount. 
but first it's essential to know the market. So use all your time, please. <laughs> go, go, go. Packaged treatments are an extremely efficient way of maximising the profit from every customer. Though prices are reduced, so too is the time it takes to deliver the product. Would you pay more money for extra treatments? So say if you came in to get your eyebrows just threaded, would you then pay more money to get them tinted? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Do you think that's really good to have no, lots I think it's of things? Good, yeah, because at the end of the day, once they get to know you doing their hair, they're probably likely to do the rest of their stuff. Do you have hair done, nails done or beauty treatments done more beauty often? Treatments. OK, so that's waxing. Do you get your nails done at all? Yeah. It'd be good if they did, like, a beauty package. If you're going to get a hair massage with a manicure, if you're going to get a leg massage with a pedicure, I think people are going to go for it. With package treatments receiving universal support, it's time to find out if Braintree is ready to embrace another concept that has been swelling the coffers of the nation's most savvy salons. I've had this idea that maybe people would pay uh, uh, some to come to a pamper party or something, a salon, and you could come with some mates and do it together. Like a girl's pampery thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd be up for that. Would it be the kind of thing that you, with a group of friends, for example, six or seven of you might go and do? I do think it could work, yeah. Do you think you'd get two or three, you know, once in a while, two or three friends or four or five of you? Would decide to do it as a yeah, girls' I think night out. We would, yeah. As well, that's yeah, why I, I suggested. There isn't it. anything around here that caters for, for, for that sort of thing at all, no. I asked everybody about pamper parties, and there was a very, very positive response about them. Mm -hmm. I think key to this is getting the offer right and getting the pricing structure right. Hair, nails, and a glass of wine for a certain price. Yeah. All right, so I think that was really positive. Mm -hmm. We are going to major on packages and on pampering. Right, OK. So that yeah. is going to be the next focus of our attention. Mm -hmm. OK? OK. Good. And by the time I return to Essex, I want them to have worked out the price structure for the packages and pamper nights, so they're ready to launch them on the beauties of Braintree. In my absence, Asti springs into action. So now I have a place for these. And my counter, a letter from the accountant. No more plastic crates full of receipts at Martini's. Progress. And she's also commissioned a flyer to promote the pamper parties. Okay, I think I prefer um, V2, yeah. We're organising pamper parties. Basically, it's a new concept that we're trying to um, sell. I've also done my part to help move things along. I've lined up the very best training courses for both the girls. Asti's is with Vidal Sassoon, the company credited with revolutionising hair training in the UK. And Dee Dee is preparing for her Olympic challenge with some tip-top training at the Essex Nail Academy. Got a lot to learn, a long way to go, but I'm learning already, you know. Being here today has made me see how important training is. I haven't got to make big changes. It's not like I did it and they went, oh my God, what have you done? That's, you're too messy, that's all over the place. Line looks good. Already if I could learn good. every day, I, that would be fantastic. Cheekbones, really nice jawline. Well done. Now that the girls' really skill levels are on the oh, up, it's start. time to put my pamper party plan to the test. It should help make their hidden backstreet salon much more of a destination. But just as the Martini girls seem to be making progress, I received news that Dee Dee has pulled out of the event. The timing couldn't be worse, and it's not the first time that she's had to pull out due to family commitments. In any other business, flaky staff would be put on a warning, but in family firms, it's an issue that's infinitely harder to address. I think the problem really is that if she's only going to do a couple of days a week anyway, if she can't then do them, it's... Mm. I know, and this I do feel like I am a bit upset, like here as well, because I do feel like maybe the training's been wasted on DD. You know, I think if anything happened, I would still come to work, try not to let people down. But <sighs> I know she can't. But this is the thing: you need I need reliable people. I do, Mum. I want Martinis to work, and I think it's going to be really good. But I don't really want to be. I don't want to be too involved with it because I've got other commitments, and I've just. I, and, I, and I've just, I worry that Asti wants too much from me. There's two th issues here. When I came here, I think 
We talked about this as a family business, mm -hmm. didn't we? And it's become more and more apparent that it isn't really. It's yeah. really Asti's business, mm -hmm. isn't it? And therefore, unfortunately, the, the, the pleasures and the pains of it really fall upon your shoulders. Mm -hmm. However, it is nice to have your mum and your sister. But I do think that you're going to have to toughen up on your staffing because you can't have Mm. two days of someone when you're not ever quite sure if they're going to be able to make no, it no. in. Yeah, I know. For now, though, it's up to Asti and Sandra to try and salvage the day. And they'll need to have their wits about them. Offering ten guests three treatments within a two-and-a-half-hour window is going to require some very careful planning. 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. Everything's got to turn around in 20 minutes, yeah? So your facials, Mum, 20 minutes. Get this right, and the pamper parties have the potential to deliver a huge boost to profits. Get it wrong, and they risk losing not just the cash, but also customer confidence, something that it's almost impossible to restore. Just remember, clock watching is really going to be key. We can't overshoot our marks. It is 20 minutes. Don't worry if you go a little few minutes over doing hair, because if they're coming to me next... Well, I know, darling, but, but if she's late, then the next person coming to her is late. Yeah, that's that. I can't say that I'm brimming with confidence, but they have at least found someone to cover for Dee Dee. We've got our technician for the nail, so we're sorted. <laughs> But what is impressive is Asti's ingenious plan for the new packaged treatments for their day-to-day -day clients. This is a really clever idea. So try our cocktail of treatments. And she's got a straight shot. That's one treatment, full price. Double on the rocks is two treatments with 10% off. With an added twist and a shake, three treatments with 20% off. And a full-on martini cocktail, four treats with 30% off. I think that's a really good idea. It's something I've never seen before. And it goes with the name. It's funny and quirky. And I think it, I think it will really capture people's imaginations. Right, should we get going then? Get, let's get started. The clients arrive promptly on the hour. Let's just hope Asti and Sandra can also deliver on time. Hello, ladies. So it's going to be five people being treated at once and then five people kind of just chit-chatting. Sound good? Yeah, yeah, Lovely. So make yourself comfortable. OK, so first of all, we we'll lift your eyebrows, OK? You will actually feel a knocking on the top of your head. <laughs> OK, so you're going to have a taste yeah, of facial, um, lash and GHD. So do you want to do hair first? So I can't do now, yeah. so you're going to have to wait now. But the pressure builds with every minute that passes and the cracks begin to show on the very first rotation. So you haven't done anything yet. Yeah. yeah, what are you doing, darling, next? Ten clients having three 20-minute treatments each means providing 30 separate treatments in just a two-and-a-half-hour window. No small feat. Have you had anything done Not yet? yet. <laughs> Have you had anything done yet? Ask. Yep. Yeah. OK, darling, you're done. Although it may be little more than organised chaos, the clients are definitely enjoying the event. It's great. I'm having my eyebrows done as well as having my feet done at the same time. It's lovely. Proper being pampered. Nasty, darling. OK, so we're going to move around to our next treatment. With a few prompts and the odd poke... So if you jump in Casey's seat... Asti does seem to be getting on top of things. Strip lash and GHD curls, and then upstairs for oh, Casey's like facial. Yeah, when they're done. So lovely. Despite a shaky start, Asti is stepping up to the challenge. Super, so you're all finished then. She's taken control, and remarkably, everything seems to be running to time. And then you're all finished. It all seems to be going incredibly well. I think I can leave Asti to it. It's all quite tranquil in here, isn't it? It's good. They've all got a good deal and, yeah, I've actually made some money <laughs> for once. <laughs> By sticking to a schedule and making some much-needed cash, the Martini girls have proved to me and themselves that the pamper party concept is a goer even without poor Dee Dee.
The atmosphere in here was quite calm. It was very professional, but incredibly friendly. It feels to me as if you've got the fact that everyone else can be having a hilarious time, but you guys have got to stay quite professional. I was really happy to see that happening. It made me incredibly proud of you all. Thank you. And um, it made me feel like Martinez has grown up. <laughs> Martinis may finally be coming of age, but the lousy layout and dodgy decor have to fit their new aspirations and make the place a go-to destination. I've sent in one of the country's top retail space designers to give the salon a much-needed makeover. This feels like a turning point. The girls have been training hard, the new business concepts are ready to roll out, and confidence is high. It's time to start making some noise about the new and improved martinis. And to promote the salon, I've secured a photo shoot for Asti with the country's leading hair magazine. They sent me pictures of the models that I'm using, so I've come with some ideas. So I'm just worried if they don't like my ideas, really. This is Asti and Dee Dee. An inspiration to people looking for new hairstyles, a spread in Your Hair magazine could give the salon a huge boost in kudos and exposure. If Asti can stick to the schedule and make the grade. I need to really keep on top of things now because right. she still needs quite a lot of work done to her hair and it's quarter past two. So. Quick! Oh, wow. It's lovely to see the dress and then the hair's going to go with it now. It's going to... Stop talking, get working. OK. Quick, I know I'm trying to be quick, but it's taking us all day to do one model, and I've still got the two models to do now, and uh, it's quarter past two. OK, bloody hell. Dee Dee may have had to prioritise her children on the day of the pamper party, but she has turned up to support her sister on this important day. Have a look in your clip. Don't take them out. Yeah, I think we're all out. Here we go. Good, uh... I mean, I'm going in. The yeah, styles Asti cool. creates could set the tone for the magazine's spring edition. Leave it be. And will certainly be a valuable asset to the newly refurbished salon. I'm impressed with Asti. She's risen to the challenge, producing three stunning stars that can be used to promote the salon and show off her talents. After her no-show at the crucial first pamper party, I've been worried that Dee Dee's heart wasn't really in the business. Ten minutes before the competition. So I'm relieved and delighted to see that she's turned up to face her biggest challenge yet. Where's my bloody water gone? Entering the nail industry's most creative and hotly contested competition, the Nail Olympics. But this has been a bit nerve wracking having to do this competition. I'm not expecting to win. I, I don't want to come last. It is going to be quite big. Yeah. But you take it as a training exercise. Yeah. Okay, so don't worry about it. Though things are looking up for martinis, the one thing I still want to nail is getting Dee Dee to connect to the business. My hope was always that giving Dee Dee new skills and a taste of success would reinvigorate her passion for the business. And she's about to put my theory to the test. Two and a half hours of competition start now. Good luck, everybody. With just two and a half hours to build, paint and sculpt a set of immaculate nails, the competition is a test of skill and nerve. Listen, if you do that again, you will be disqualified. Do you understand? I'm going to put the red on this hand, so I'm just prepping these now to put the red on. So they can have time to dry and then I'm going to put the white tips on the other side after. It's hard to overstate the pressure I placed on Dee Dee by thrusting her onto this international stage. I'm just not looking at everybody else, I'm just getting on with it. I don't expect her to win any prizes in such elite company. It's all about boosting her confidence and, in the process, helping her to re-engage with the business and her sister. Because she hasn't looked at us yet, so no. we don't want her to, because we don't want to put her off stride, really. No. Attention competitors, you have one hour remaining. I'm now feeling the pressure because of the time. I thought I was all right, but now I'm feeling the pressure. I 
I just want to see Dee Dee oh. proud of what she's doing. That, that's what you need. That's, that's, well, that's, that's, that's that thing, the passion, isn't it? Because you have two minutes left. Come on, give us a red one. Dee Dee finishes right on the buzzer with a stunning set of nails. Her relief is obvious. <laughs> You've done it! You've done it! Oh, that's fantastic. You're right. Thank you! <laughs> I love you. You look as calm as a kid proper, babe. You've got no finish. <laughs> no, I've learned so much. It's just the start now. This is just the start of your journey. Now you're yeah. going to um, carry on, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I feel so confident doing them now. It's now, like for, yeah. for Salon. It's the very best that I could have hoped for. Dee Dee has excelled herself, producing stunning competition standard nails that she can be more than proud of. <laughs> I was banking on the competition putting the fire back in Dee Dee's belly so that she and Asti could reconcile their differences and return to the business with the renewed desire to move things forward. And I'm not disappointed. I need to keep busy with the nails. I need to keep the interest there and start learning more things. And I'm up for doing another competition. Hopefully I might win next year. It's my last day in Braintree. In the girls' absence, the salon makeover has been completed, which means this final reveal will be a surprise for us all. Look, girls. Oh a sign, God. a hanging sign at last. I hope they like it. Go on. Oh, it's oh, nice. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It does look nice. like the same place. No, so it doesn't. <laughs> The salon has been flipped on its head. Asti is the company's greatest asset, and as such, she should be on show. Oh, look at the chair! Two new styling stations have been created, complete with designer wash basins. Dee Dee can do a nice hand massage. <laughs> <laughs> a new nail table has been given pride of place in the light of the window and a state-of-the-art computerised booking system adorns the revamped reception desk. This now looks like a very professional, you know, high-class salon, mm -hmm. and perception is half the battle. Mm -hmm. We've created a space that is chic. My martini glasses in there. Shaken, not stirred. Stylish. Look at the chandeliers. And most importantly of all, arranged for maximum efficiency. I love it. I can't wait to work in it. I can't wait to see it all in action. I want to get working. I do actually want to get working. <laughs> to show off the refreshed salon, I've invited the best of Braintree and a few of the industry's most influential figures to be the first to test the treatments and judge the salon's success. That's it. It's done. It's great. I just need some people now. Wow, these are really fantastic. From that first day of training at Daniel Galvin, he said that she needed to sharpen up her technique. And it certainly looks as like if she's managed to do that in the intervening months, doesn't it? But will the future customers and industry experts like it? Hello. It's their big chance to promote the new packaged treatments and the pamper parties. So I'd to give us all one of our leaflets here. Get it right, and Martini's could really put itself on the Essex map. OK, well, I'm Asti, it's my salon. So, and this is Dee Dee, she's our now technician, my sister. So do you like it? Today's invited guests are the new Essex girls. They love looking their best, and they're prepared to pay good money for top treatments. If Martini's is going to become Braintree's destination salon of choice, these are the people the girls must impress. This is the Lash and Brow Lounge. Believe it or not, this used to be the hairdressers. The more treatments you have, the more money that you save. Have some nibbles and some more of them. Knock your head off the martini. <laughs> Thank you. I like that one better. Oh, OK, let's go for that one. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think? Lovely. Yes, I like it. The front of work. Oh, good. Situated nice. Nice area. Friendly girls. 
So do you think you might give it a go? Yeah, I'll start coming here because it's local. Oh, good. Yay. What about you, darling? Yeah, definitely. Like, I live in Chelsea, which is a bit away, but I wouldn't mind traveling here. It's a fantastic response. But if they want to join the Essex elite, they do well to impress one of their most famous neighbours. Lauren Pope made her fortune in the beauty industry before becoming the super sassy star of hit TV show The Only Way is Essex. This is the hair bit. I love that old hall area. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. It's really cosy. While I must confess I'm not an avid viewer, Towie gave the beauty business a huge boost, and Lauren's seal of approval would be a coup for martinis. Hello, thank you for coming. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is us at the end of the salon. Oh, well done, it looks brilliant. It's like a girls' night in, yeah. but with professional people. That's yeah. how we wanted it to feel. Okay, okay. Wipe your eyes. Yeah, I need to come back and um, do all the treatments. Thanks, Dolly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sandra. Thanks. Bye. I started my time at Martini's in despair, but I finished with a sense of hope. Asti is flying high. Getting the reactions from everybody tonight, that's just made me really happy. We've had Good. a few bookings. And after her experience at the Nail Olympics, Dee Dee has a fire in her belly and a renewed enthusiasm for the business. Hi, man. What would, you, what would you like done today? Would you like me to do your hands? It's been a rough old ride, and I don't think the family is out of the woods yet but at least they now have the tools and the talents to make their salon a success. So we'll promote the pamper parties and then I'll have a few and we'll tell you how they go. Oh. Good luck, darling. Oh. Good luck. I'll be, I'm rooting for you. The four months I've been working with Asti, Didi and Sandra may seem like a long time, but for me they've passed in the twinkling of an eye. I can't believe how much they've done. And if sometimes unwillingly I've had to pull them up by their bootstraps, look where they are now. They were a complete mess when I first met them, but I really do now have great hopes for their future. since I left the salon, and my biggest concern was that Asti and Didi might never manage to establish a good working relationship. You know, it is quite hard for Didi to treat me like she would a boss. We will never, ever agree on things, me and Asti. But I do think that Didi realises a little bit more that it is very important to me, and like having this salon is, to me, it's like her having her children. Customer numbers are yet to show a major increase, but they are at least sticking to the revamped business plan. We had a brilliant night on Friday night here. We did um, shellac nails, eyelashes, eyebrows, and a facial. Get free treatments done, you get 30% off. Right. Yeah, that is amazing. It is, isn't it's it? It's really good. Thank you. Very, Thank very good you. job. And what's more, Asti's work on the photo shoot is about to get far bigger recognition than any of us expected. Amazing. I can't believe I'm on the front flipping cover. All I wanted was just one of them pictures in the magazine, just, just to be in it. Now it's on the front. It's That's brilliant. Fantastic. We're not just any old hairdressers, are we, now? Not, not now you've got that. Not now. Brilliant. Stay with us on BBC HD from good old fish and chips to a good old fashioned signal box down at the railway. The cameras turn on the West Coast main line in keeping Britain on track next.